Mars wasn't always the cold, dry world we see today. Long ago, it had many of the ingredients needed for a more active planet. So what changed? Let's look at what Mars lost, and why it mattered. Early in its history, Mars likely had a molten core and a magnetic field, much like Earth. The magnetic field would have helped protect its atmosphere from the sun, but Mars is smaller than Earth and it cooled faster. As its core cooled, the magnetic field weakened and eventually faded away. Without that protection, Mars became vulnerable to space weather. With no strong magnetic field, the solar wind began to strip away Mars's atmosphere into space. Over millions of years, the planet lost all of its air. As the atmosphere thinned, it could no longer trap heat effectively. Temperatures dropped, pressures fell, and liquid water became unstable on the surface. Mars didn't suddenly die, it slowly faded. As the planet cooled and pressure dropped, surface water either froze or escaped into space. Some water remains today, locked away as ice in the poles and beneath the surface. But rivers, lakes, and possibly even shallow seas vanished. The planet crossed a threshold it couldn't come back from. Mars didn't fail because it was too different from Earth. It failed because it was just a little smaller and a little weaker, and just a little less protected. In planetary science, small differences can lead to very different outcomes. Next time, we'll look at what Mars still has and why scientists are interested in exploring it today. Stay curious about space.